अनल्या दिव्या जयश्री निर्मला सालशा जस्ट सम ऑफ द वुमेन हु हैव लॉस्ट देयर लाइव्स अलेजेडली टू डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस Domestic violence and dowry debts are prevalent in India and by that I mean it is all around us. We all know of people who at some point have faced domestic violence or have perpetrated it. But how often have we looked away and done nothing because we didn't know what could be done. In this video we are going to talk about one aspect of awareness around domestic violence. The laws that are in place in India to address the issue. There are three laws in India that deal directly with domestic violence. The Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act 2005, the Dowry Prohibition Act 1961, and Section 498 of the Indian Penal Code. The Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act of 2005, which I'm going to refer to as the DV Act, is a civil law that provides protection to women in a household. and this is not just for women who are married to men this is also for living relationships and family members like grandmothers mothers etc under this law women can seek protection from domestic violence financial compensation the right to live in that shared household as well as get maintenance from their abuser if they choose to live apart remember this is not a criminal law which means it's not for arresting somebody and putting them in jail This law is in place so that women are not kicked out of their homes and they can sustain themselves if they are abused. It is also for protecting women from their abusers. A magistrate can pass protection orders under the DV Act so that their abuser does not come close or try to contact the survivor. In case the abuser is not paying the maintenance on time, their employer can be directly contacted so that money is deposited into the woman's account directly. The Dowry Prohibition Act is a criminal law against giving and taking of dowry. If someone is found to be taking or giving dowry under this law, they can face punishment up to 6 months in jail or a fine of rupees 5000 rupees. The court can decide to give both punishments as well. This punishment is applicable if somebody is demanding dowry as well. In many cases, several women face domestic violence over dowry much after the wedding too. they face dowry threats for not getting home enough money or gold etc in such cases you can approach the police and seek necessary remedies the third law in place to help women who are facing domestic violence is section 498a of the indian penal code section 498a is a criminal law which applies to husbands or relatives who are cruel to women at home cruelty here means any conduct that drives a woman to suicide or causes grave injury to her life or health including her mental health it also includes harassment in the name of dowry if convicted people can be sent to jail for up to 3 years under this law domestic violence is a social evil that is all around us it is time we stop ignoring it it is time we start equipping ourselves on how to deal with it remember Domestic violence is never acceptable no matter what the situation is. Remember, it is not okay to ignore violence. It is not okay to look away. Remember, Anlia, Divya, Jayashree, Nirmala, Sanjay.